Hey everyone, it's Exo Man, and today I have some videos for you. I want to show you some clips from some videos of the wonderful rocket stove. Uh, it's a three brick or a four brick rocket stove. Very simple device. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy this. And I just wanted to touch on some points about it. Uh, we've used rocket stoves so many times now, you know, I mean, that one in particular back there I've used at least 10 times. And uh, there are a few things to, to talk about. One is safety. They're, uh, they're, they're relatively safe. Use caution. I did a video where I used one near my house on a very windy day and I actually gave those caveats in the video. Don't do this at home. Don't use these things near your house. Uh, but it was a demonstration. And a lot, of the, a lot of the feedback was people afraid of exploding concrete blocks. And they don't, they don't explode with this kind of use. They just don't. They may crack over time. But what we're talking about, the whole point of what this is, is a very efficient, uh, efficient heat source. You, in other words, you're using a small uh, amount of twigs, leaves, twigs, small branches, things like that which is giving you a maximum output so that you can cook, you can boil water, you can do things like that. Um, it's not the kind of heat source that, would, that surrounds the block and superheats it so that it'll explode like these people tend to think. Um, in fact, we've had firemen comment on, uh, on that particular video that they've seen house fires where they ex the houses were made of concrete blocks and th there's no explosion. They said they were crumbling, but not exploding bricks. But anyway, anyhow, the, suffice it to say, I think what, what uh, people are referring to is when, you, when they've created fire pits and made, made them out of cinder block, cinder block walls around fire pits, pits that, that can be an intense heat source with lots of logs and a bonfire type of thing. That could be, that could be dangerous. And you know, if your block is wet, etc. Anyway, I've got some clips here from the various uh, um, times we've used the rocket stove, and we've just we've been delighted each time. It's just it's a great tool for. It's not the kind of survival tool that you can carry around. You certainly can't put it in a backpack. But it's say if you lose power after a storm or a tornado or something like that, it's great to have this around. So. It might be something where you would want to get a few of these blocks and just have them on hand. It requires, you know, the, the design that I use requires that you cut the end out of one of the blocks. Otherwise, I mean, it's just a very simple construction. I put that thing, I'll just put those blocks anywhere I want and, and build that little, that little stove in within three, min three or four minutes. And like I say, we're, we're off and cooking. So say you don't have a lot of logs, or sorry, a lot of, uh, say you don't have a lot of uh, material to cook with, a lot of fuel, and you can just, you're only able to gather some sticks and things like that, there you go, you're cooking. Here's how we do it. We take one block, stand it on end, we take another block, lay it down with the block wall facing up. Okay, now I've, I've got a special block here that I've cut the end off of. It's just a regular cinder block but I've cut the end off of it. And the reason for that is that that will form my heat riser, my burn chamber. And then I take a fourth block and lay it on top like so. And then take a look at this. This is where the fuel will go. Branches, sticks, twigs, kindling, uh, even small, uh, small logs if, if you want that. And there's your heat riser or your chimney and you put uh, you can put a cooking grate whatever you have I have a little stove grate here you want uh, you want this as shallow as possible you know this is a, this is a little bit high uh, the lower profile the better because you don't want a bunch of wind kicking through here because you're gonna be cooking outside um, so the idea with this this type of design is is efficiency with the with a minimum, a minimal amount of fuel, you can get an extraordinary amount of heat. So it's going to cook very efficiently, and you're not going to be going through a whole bunch of uh, fuel. You're going to be maximizing on, on that output. Um, and so we'll, uh, 
if, if you just have these four blocks sitting around, you always have a rocket stove at hand and ready to use when you need it, okay? This is my nice, awesome little enamel, uh, cast iron enamel pan. You want some jalapenos, farm girl? Yes, please. Farm girl here. I wanted to show you a cool stove that you can use in case your power goes out or if you just want to cook outside. Not something you probably want to throw in your backpack. It's a little bit heavy, but it's four cinder blocks. And this is just a little elevator. It gets the heat up off of your surface. Um, this one is gonna be the burn chamber. And this is your feed. That's coming together pretty quickly. Yep, feed right in there. And then you've got a heat riser. That's gonna be your cooking surface. The beauty is you can cook a meal with just some twigs. Hey, Exo Man, come taste some of this delicious food I made. You made that? Yeah. Mmm. Savory yet sublime, farm girl. Oh, you sound like one of those guys on the Food Network. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Savory yet sublime? <laughs> Give me a break. It's David Payne. Describe the food. It's Savory David yet Payne sublime. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to talk to you guys about my next big show. Roxy or farm girl. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you today? <laughs> Is going to uh, start her... Alright, so she's going to put a couple of, uh, we can always take this off, we've got it going blazes, so she's going to put some uh, cheese on there, mm. and get that going, I'll just set this here while you get that cheese. Woo. Almost lost it. Don't catch on fire. Okay. Farm girl. Oh man, that's <laughs> a lot of cheese on there. Let me help. Well, we're gonna share it, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's making too much turkey. And then we're gonna add a little mayo to that. Here, I'll hold this for you. Well, I'm gonna do the mayo after. Okay. Just let that get a little warm and melty. Ow, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that pan We're on that here. fire is hot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and as you feed it, you push the ones that are just getting started in there into the chamber. And so we have this on hand. Show what Farm Girl demonstrated last time. That That's really cool. It has its own built in grate. Really? Self feeding. Awesome. You just basically drop your sticks right here and they just go down. It's got the vent. See, it already has a built in vent. Yeah. Yeah. This is made for us by Iron of Life on Etsy. Yeah. Good job cooking. Okay, everyone, just wanted to remind you that we love to do stories on interesting people and feature them on our channel. Uh, we have our email in the link below, so if you have an interesting story, send us your information and you never know. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your any comments you may have in the comment section below and be sure to check out the description and any links that might be down there. Uh, we really appreciate you watching. Thank you, and we'll talk soon.